After Effects is the industry standard for video effects, compositing, and motion graphics. Come on. It's a powerful application. Yeah. But it can be a little intimidating when you first open it up. Today we're going to take a quick tour of the After Effects interface. Feel free to use the menu to skip around, or just click on the AE logo if you'd like to browse through all my After Effects tutorials. Shall we to the computer? Here we are in the standard After Effects workspace, which is broken up into sections or panels. The three panels you'll probably spend the most time with include the Project panel, which stores all your files that you've imported to work with, the Timeline panel, where you manage and animate different layers in your composition over time, and the Comp or Preview window, where you can see or preview what you're working on. Beyond that, there are panels for effects, text, previewing, and more on the right here. You don't need every single panel all of the time, and because of that, After Effects has made the interface extremely flexible. Put your mouse on a border, and you can fluidly resize any panel to your liking. Want to focus on just one panel for a minute? Just put your mouse in the panel you're interested in, and hit the tilde button right under your escape key. And... bam. That panel is full screen. Hit the tilde again, and you're back to normal. You'll also notice that each panel tab has some dots on the left and an X on the right. Hit the X to remove that panel completely, or grab those dots and drag, and you can tear that panel off and slap it down wherever you like. Just pay attention to the highlighted areas to see where you're slapping it. Put it in the middle and it becomes a tab in that panel area. Move it to one of these box looking things, and it adds your panel next to or above that panel area. If you like the way you've set up your workspace, you can save it here by clicking New Workspace and giving it a name. For example, I have two monitors in my back office, not bragging, but I created a workspace called Back Office that automatically moves my favorite panels into position on both screens. Thanks, workspaces. And hey, while we're up here, you'll notice that there are some preloaded workspaces already there, like animation, motion tracking, text, and so on that bring up and eliminate certain panels based on what you're trying to do. Pretty cool stuff. And if for some reason you've broken your workspace and can't put it back together again, Humpty Dumpty style, just select the preset you want and click the reset button. And you're back. So that's a quick tour of the After Effects interface. Next we're going to take a look at compositions or working with layers. It's your call. But make sure you click here to subscribe so you're the first to know when new tutorials are uploaded. Lastly, if you could do me a kindness and please share this tutorial on your favorite social network. I'd really appreciate it, even if it is Google+. Oh, and just so you know, I don't consider myself to be some sort of After Effects guru, so if you ever have a better way of doing something or think I'm doing something totally wrong, please let me know in the comments below without being a dick about it. And I'll make sure to include your advice, complete with credit, in my next tutorial. Thanks for joining me, and make it a blockbuster night.